Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be talking about crescent pose, the crescent lunge, and some of the ins and outs of the alignments. <clears throat> so, the pose is basically a lunge, but with the back leg lifted and ultimately the arms up. The pose can be done with your arm bracing the thigh. You can hold the wall if balance is an issue. And the nice thing about the pose is even though it itself is a basic pose, you can do it in very basic ways and you can do it in more advanced ways. So for instance, a shorter crescent is perfectly fine and you can even have a little bend in the back knee. That will be a little bit more relaxing and a lot less strength and flexibility. You're always welcome to do that, especially if you're working through injuries. A moderate crescent with the thigh at a little bit of an angle is good for a little more strength and flexibility. And a deeper crescent with the thigh working more towards flat and the back leg really long is excellent for building the deepest strength and flexibility. The arms lifting could be part way if you have neck or shoulder issues but eventually full extension of the arms and even hands together so long as you keep the shoulders low and not sort of kind of swallow the neck with that trapezius muscle. So the pose can be, and you can even add deeper back bends and twists and other variations to make it more advanced. So you choose your own adventure when you practice these type of standing poses. You know, typically a shorter stance, a little easier, moderate, longer stance increases the effort. <clears throat> One thing to be aware of, we keep the knee above the ankle. Now some people can gain great strength and flexibility by lunging really far. If you work up to that, that's one issue. But just for the general population, knee above ankle or knee above heel is always safe. Another alignment for the knee is to track it forward and opening it a little bit is okay too, especially if you have the tendency to have the knee cave in. So the knee, I'll show you a little bit more up close. For a lot of people, the knee will kind of go like this. And so what's that that's doing is it's putting a lot of pressure on the inner knee and you're not strengthening the outer glute, the, the gluteus medius as much. So having the knee forward or even slightly open is good. And while I'm showing you this angle, sometimes people have their feet kind of more toward the middle and they're doing their crescent like that. Now you don't want like too wide, like wider than the hips, but a little on the wide side is really helpful for balance. In this pose, it's a standing pose, it's a hip opener, it's a strengthening pose, it's a balance pose. So there's, you get a lot of little things from combining all of this. So things to keep in mind in terms of alignment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you would like to do more long form classes and workshops, check out the link in the description and consider signing up for the monthly membership. Until then, thank you for watching and look forward to more soon. Peace everyone.